Good morning all, Max Kent here, 90 day DVJ day seven, Monday morning. Um, a couple of things I've been thinking about I wanted to uh, talk about today in my video upload. Um, firstly, I wanted to bring up something about salesman's paranoia. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but um, having been in sales for, gosh, since since I start, uh, left uni really, um, I've experienced a thing called sales with paranoia many times actually. And what that is, is when you have a prospect or a lead, or you've given a quote to someone, or you've done a lot of sales work with a particular prospect, and then you haven't heard anything. And the longer it goes on for, the more paranoid you get about what are they doing? Are they, are they thinking they're not gonna go with it? Do they really like it? Are they not gonna buy it? Um, and what I've learned over the years is to forget all about that. Um, now, Alex on Sell What You Know has very kindly sent a book, copy of Don't Set, Sweat the Small Stuff. I would argue that small stuff is salesman's paranoia. You never know whether they're going to say yes to you or not. You never know that whether the things that you've communicated to them are going to be the things that really resonate with them to make a sale. And particularly when you're selling a coaching course... There's quite a few elements to this that I think you have to consider. So testimonials, I think um, you can ask for them on your LinkedIn profile. I've seen quite a few people talking about, oh, well, I'm going to sell my first coaching course. I haven't sold one yet, by the way, but I'm going to. Um, when you get those first kind of um, prospects, first buying signals, if you like, um, what you're going to go through um, and I can see it coming already, is this sort of imposter sy syndrome where people are going to say, well, what have you actually done? What have you what have you coached? Who have you coached before? So I think you can ask on LinkedIn, message out for testimonials. So you can message someone and say, you know, we work together. Can you give us a little bit of uh, feedback on how you felt I, I managed you or how I trained you, how we work together? I think any little sound bites like that you can put in front of people and repurpose on maybe your own website, your own content, where you can talk about the great things you've done to help people will really resonate with people when you're trying to prove to them what your worth is and what your knowledge and experience and how you can coach people and what you've done before. So believe in yourself, um, I think is the first way to get rid of salesperson's paranoia. The next thing is to keep staying ahead. Now, if you imagine you're running a race, um, and let's bring in the metaphor of marathon, not a sprint. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Any business is a marathon. But if you're setting the pace, and you imagine that race analogy, so staying ahead of the pack, what are the things you need to do to stay ahead? Yes, you've had a lead. Yes, you've had a, a bite. So that's not the time to rest on your laurels, uh, really. It's the time to try and get more of them. Forget about that prospect. They'll come back to you. They either will or they won't. But you need more of them. So it's a numbers game. So this week... I'm going to be blocking out time, probably from Wednesday onwards, once I've got the sort of admin bits out of the way, to really sort of double down on prospecting days. And they're not just, let's contact people, but let's identify what we're going to say to people. Who are we going to talk to? What's the ideal client profile? How do we research those kind of people? Who do we say, who do we target? What do we say to them? All of those kind of things that when you have a really focused sales day, um, and you need to kind of block out two, I find, sort of Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a... a in the week, get all the everything out of the, the way that stops you procrastinating and then just focus on that day, on getting in touch with people, building new contacts, building new connections. You might not get anywhere, but keep doing it. That work you do will be crucial. And even if you get nothing back, what you've put out there into the, into the stratosphere, if you like, in terms of your sales message, will really start to come back to you, but you need to build on it. So... Sales par salesman's paranoia, again, back to my point of this video, is something that's literally just in your head. Forget about it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Move on. They'll come back to you. They either will or they won't. But the more you leave them, um, you know, don't leave them forever, obviously. There's a, there's a balance with this, but don't hassle people. Don't keep saying, well, I saw your message. Let's speak. Let's speak. They're busy and they'll come back to you whenever they whenever they feel like it. And there's only so much you can do to force that. But what you can do is work on more prospects, more numbers, fill the bucket up to the top um, of prospects and watch them drop out the bottom if you like. So um, I'll talk more about that leaky bucket concept um, in perhaps the next video. But best of luck to you all out there. Hope it's a great week for you all. Um, speak again tomorrow. Bye bye.